is a church denomination we have that other church denomination this is christian let me use the word religion and then we have another religion you know the name of that religion there are people in the church they have doctrine they have everything intact but they prevent their young people from getting married in time the other people that do not have gospel doctrine holiness sanctification they allow their people to marry easily but logically those other other denominations will be growing and growing now the other religion apart from christianity will allow not only that they marry quickly but that they marry one and two and three and four and some of them go beyond the four what's the implication of that that religion will keep on growing even if they don't do evangelism even they do, if they don't do proselyting even if they don't rush after people to be converted to their religion they are multiplying but logically when a man has uh, you know four wives or five or six or seven and they're reproducing and then uh, the church that is earnestly contending for the faith was delivered unto the saints our young people want to get married what are you thinking of marriage now what accommodation do you have what job do you have how much are you earning have you built a house are you mobile and all those questions anybody that cannot answer all those questions no marriage now in the future all those other people that get marriage easily we're not talking of compromising we're talking about using up and allowing people that need to get married let them get married if jesus tarries even their children that were bring up in the christian way will we'll also grow in jesus name but if we don't even get married in time do you know the time uh, you know some of the people in you know i don't know whether committee or whatever the time i got married how old are you now i'm so, you're too early why are you rushing why are you too much in a hurry now when the older people die off where is the church because late late marriages and they almost the ladies are almost getting beyond the age of giving birth before we allow them to marry let's understand the enemy can use us against ourselves that we will not multiply and then we'll be taking joy in the fact that we're firm we're strict and we're destroying our future the lord will not use you to destroy your future the lord will help you your children young ones they want to get married is up and let us move on and this church will grow spiritually will grow numerically will go biologically you will see your children and grandchildren and great grandchildren before you die in jesus name but as long as we tie the rope on their neck and we have this law this rule this regulation how can you see that may the lord give you wisdom sometimes we have uh, children at home and then we have uh, servants maids helping us at home and our children and those um, those helpers in the home they are more they are almost of the same age and we don't allow our children to do anything because it's my child the girl will not allow her to learn how to cook the helpers at home will do that and then we don't allow our children to wash plates or wash clothes or wash anything or clean the house or make 
their bed the people those boys and girls of their age who are serving and helping at home they're the people that do all those things now the problem is those uh, servants or maids or, or helpers at home they're going to have a better marriage in the future because they know how to cook they know how to you know make their bed they know how to clean the house they know how to do everything when they get married although they were servants at home they'll have better life than the children our own children were pampering we were so rich we have everything will not allow them to walk the car is there if they're going a few one kilometer ahead we'll say let the driver take them and go there they'll be useless in the future but if you expose your children to the same things those helpers are doing at home you're preparing the children for the future the people of israel they all those people they need to have the strength they need to have the ability but it's the people that were doing the work for them that are becoming stronger and stronger and stronger let's learn from all this so that even in the present time our families will be strong yeah. and our generation will be stronger than all the lazy people that don't know how to do anything in jesus name